So far this morning we have seen a few light showers moving through middle Georgia and this is really going to be it with the rainfall. No thunderstorms, no heavy rain throughout the rest of the day. Just this light rain is going to be pushing through in between right about now and 10 to 11 a.m. That's when a lot of that's expected to stop and then what we can expect at that point it's just going to be some cloudy conditions to start off your afternoon and we're going to have high pressure and dry air move in later on which is going to help push out that cloud cover and any chance of rain or fog and really just bring us clear conditions overnight tonight and that dry air is also going to help keep our temperatures a little bit cooler for at least the next day and a half. Now let's go ahead and talk more about these temperatures and again we're starting off in the 50s this morning. Very good shot. We hit 70 later on today because of that drier air moving on in. Another thing we're going to have is a little bit more sunshine popping up closer to 5 p.m. Now I know this icon right here is showing you that we're looking at a lot of cloud cover at that time, but the way things are working out right now, we are going to see a lot of these clouds moving on out. We're going to have partly cloudy skies by that time and eventually overnight we should be mostly clear and that is going to lead into a clear Wednesday. In fact, we're just going to have completely sunny skies out there. High temperatures around 70 four degrees and that trend is going to last all the way through the end of the week. But one big change that we're going to see probably at some point on Thursday is a nice little wind shift that's going to help rise up our temperatures quite a bit. In fact, you're going to see low temperatures right around 44 degrees for Wednesday night, Thursday night that jumps up almost 10 degrees. And so even though those temperatures on both Thursday afternoon and Friday afternoon look pretty similar being at 79 and 82, that real big wind shift is going to help out our low temperatures a little bit. It's also going to bring us a lot more humidity out in front of the cold front that's going to get here on Saturday and Sunday and that could lead to some chances of thunderstorms and maybe even some lighter chances of severe weather as we get into Saturday and Sunday. But at the moment, severe weather does not look likely. It's just something to keep an eye on as we get closer and closer to your Saturday. But the way it stands now, we are expecting a ton of rain come this weekend. In fact, some places could see as much as two inches of rain. Places like Macon and Warner Robins got to be somewhere around an inch and a half. But look at this. There's already a couple places here in the Red Dublin Eastman McRae could see as much as two and a half inches of rain with a majority of that coming on Sunday. Now let's go ahead and walk you through this timing just a little bit. And you're going to see Saturday is going to have rain chances, but it's expected to be pretty isolated. A lot more of that heavier rain is going to move in during Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. And by the time we get to Sunday evening, we should begin to see a lot of this rain clearing on out. And now there's going to be a quick look at your fish and game forecast brought to you by Harrison's Body Shop. An excellent time for later this morning is going to be around 1040.